We have a question in the back, please state your business and name. Yes. Uh, Rick Tingle, Media Man, good to see you again, Prime Minister. Yeah, good to see you. Um, your last answer partly um, answered my question, but I wasn't going to give up my question. Um, <laughs> I'll think of another one, quickly. Okay, yeah, I've got one. Be agile, think of another one. If you, if you were running the show, if, not to let the cat out of the bag too much, but if you were running Google, what sort of ideal scenario as far as a win-win-win type of situation for Google, for, for Bondi, for Waverley Council, would you like to see achieved? out of today and in the not too distant future for the whole Bondi Waverley area? Well, it's just uh, what, what, what I hope that uh, Google will, and I'm sure they will, is, in, is open your um, eyes and encourage your imagination to pick up uh, applications and um, examples of how you can use their applications. I mean, uh, that, 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 will that will enable you to do more. Let me give you an example. Um, when you know, if you go back 20 years ago, uh, or even arguably 10 years ago, certainly 20 years ago, if you're starting a business, you had to buy a whole lot of gear. You had to buy a server, you had to buy a whole lot of licensed applications which were downloaded onto your server, whether it was accounting software or you know, a, a spreadsheet application, you might have got you know, the Microsoft Office package, uh, if, if that would have been typical. And you had to spend all of that money on doing that, and that was all happening in your office, and your ability to collaborate with others was relatively limited. Nowadays, and I'm not, I mean, Google is, is a giant in the industry, it's one good example, but there are others. Nowadays, any business, whether it is large or small, has the ability to access either for free or at a very historically relatively modest charge, very powerful cloud-based applications. I mean, if you, as a small business, you can use uh, you know, Google Docs, Google Sheets, there's a whole bunch of applications there which enable, which give you, from your smartphone or a tablet, if you're, you know, your, your eyes are not good enough and your, you know, your, your uh, fingers are not uh, nimble enough, uh, where you've got all of that processing power there in the cloud. So what, what um, the, you know, the combination of enormous storage, very fast processing time, uh, vastly improved broadband, uh, has, what that has all done is immensely increase the leverage of the small actor in the business world because it lowers the cost of getting into business in term, you have tools that enable you to connect uh, to the world at much lower cost than you ever had before and of course, as you know, I mean, the, the, uh, the, the cost of uh, marketing uh, online is, is, I'm sure you'd all like Google to charge less for AdWords, and you should, that is something. <laughs> there you go, I found the answer, a special discount. It's an option. A special discount, he's committed to it. A special discount, a special discount for the small businesses of Sydney. But a special and a special one for those in Bondi. It's a very option system. That's it. I know. I know. I'm not. But but but, but quite seriously, the the uh, that that's that's given you that gives you enormous leverage too. So I think the I think the ant. But I just conclude with an observation. You, I, I often make it, it's, but it's worth repeating. When we started Aussie Mail back in literally 22 years ago, uh, the the real te technological wizard. Uh, was a man called Sean Howe. And Sean, or Sean was a real thought leader and innovator in the internet space. I mean, we had, we for example, had the first commercial voice over IP business. So, you know, we were, we, we had, we were doing a lot of things that were cutting edge, not just in Australia, but, but right around the world. Now, Sean always used to say, and he's right, that there's generally or always a lot of technology a lot of technology. What is in short supply is technological imagination. You know, what can you do with it? And that's why it's very important to talk about it with others, but above all, open your minds. Be as imaginative as you can. You know, preconceptions, we've always done it this way, or we haven't done it like that before, chuck that out. This is a new, fast-paced world where you have to be agile, and above all, open your minds. Just imagine what you can do. Because the other great thing about the digital domain is you can try things out, 
doesn't cost you a lot to experiment, and if it doesn't work, well, do something else. You'll learn something from it. You know, this is why uh, you've got to be nimble and, uh, and, and be prepared to experiment. And this is the great advantage small businesses got because you move so much more quickly than a big firm does. So that's, you know, the, I guess what I'm saying is the internet, the cloud-based applications, all of this, social media, this gives you an edge that you didn't have before versus the big guys and your own imagination and agility gives you an even greater one. So the environment, I think, is very helpful to small business. You know, and we have done, as, you know, as you know, we've provided the tax breaks, we've provided uh, instant asset write-off breaks, and you know, we've, we're amending the uh, Section 46 of the, Trade, of the uh, Consumer and Competition Act uh, to give you greater leverage in terms of dealing with big companies like Google, for example, but um, I'm sure they'll always be very friendly. But, the, but the, the, our, our focus as a government is to support you, small business, but the environment in which you're operating in is one that I think is very helpful too. And we'll show you a lot of how to use these technologies today during the training as well.